How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews. Back with a little, yeah, a little bit of hot butcher up in this piece in the form of their choice stock. This be Estrada and Nectar on Hopped India Pale Ale, 6.5% alcohol by volume. And as per um, typical hot butchering offerings, uh, they have their tasting notes in the back as pink lemonade, pleasantly dank, and blue raspberries. Are there blue raspberries? I don't know, there's blue blueberries. I think they're making up stuff here. Anyway, we're going to crack into this. This comes courtesy of Hot Butcher. Uh, wow, that's pretty easy stuff for 6.5%. So, yeah, big old hefty beer. Uh, Label-wise, it's Jetsa, but is it? You know what? It says choice stock. I wish they would have saved this for like an, like an old stock ale, like that kind of name. I assume they're going with a kind of uh, choice stock of hops, hence the little hops in the little box there, but... Anytime the stock's in the name, I think of stock ale, old ale, kind of barley wine type stuff. So, yeah, I dig it, though. 6.5% Strata Nectaron hopped. So, this beer looks all the part of a big, gigantic 7.5 plus percent hazy, rich orange core, a little bit of cataracty edges, pinky finger of infinite creaminess with a couple stragglers throughout. Looks all the part of just before you get the turkey gravy, let's put it that way. Man, burps. Seem good nose. <sighs> Tropical fruit and stone fruit. That's really. I'm gonna give you a nose. It's sort of soft, undersweet, and kind of tropical fruit. A little bit of mango vibes, a little kiwi vibes, but think that undersweetened kind of things. And there's this nice undersweetened kind of stone fruit thing. Not really leaning all that much any sort of direction with the citrus it is more of that travel fruit kind of stone fruit in there they talk about berry vibes and i can get down with that with a little bit of kind of generic berry stuff but it smells nice doesn't smell like over the top overly sweet i mean 6.5 percent not the biggest beer in the history of mankind so we're just gonna dive in cheers that's delicious that is certainly 100% delicious. Mouthfeel is that super sultry, soft, water and nerdy thing that I dig so much. It is that tropical fruit leaning, stone fruit heavy richness. Now that berry characteristic, I can, I, we can talk berries. I get a lot of berry vibes off of a lot of Hut Butcher beers. Talking about blue raspberries. That's not a thing. I mean, are the booberries maybe or something like that? But there is this berry characteristic to it. But probably the funnest part about this beer, and that's saying something, because the way that fruit kind of comes off from the hop side of things is very, very tasty. Very, very exciting. The mouth feels fucking fantastic. It's that little prickly kind of dinky green thing kind of dancing around the edge of everything. I like that. It is a very super soft impactful beer and by that i mean it's like getting hit in a it's something like someone swinging a gigantic like eight foot round pillar and smacking the shit out of you so you're not going to get hurt but you're going to feel that kind of impact of that big roundness and when you talk about these kind of ipas these sharp kind of flavors um when it comes to new school hazy beers which there's big bold flavors in here rarely do they have rounded edges and be as impactful and meaningful and that's a really cool trick to pull off because you know either everything's sharp and kind of the way you want it even can be even a little bit too sharp maybe non-cohesive the other end of things you'd have this kind of rounded kind of okay it's just not impactful enough you know the flavors are there but it's not giving me what i want kind of thing this one pulls off that trick of being soft being drinkable being just approachable but at the same time being a bit boisterous being a bit loud that's kind of why I, like, why I like Hot Butcher and what they do. Hot Fuck Duggery is a fun thing. That's it. Yeah. Tropical Fruit Lean. Um, like I said, undersweetened. Stone Fruit heavily. They talk about pink lemonade. I, I mean, there's this little kind of tart acidic thing that I could associate with, like, lemonade if I wanted to, but I'd have to talk myself into something. Pleasant Tank, I think, is that nice kind of powdery greeny keefy thing that i was talking about green grass and blue raspberries is total that's just not even a thing 
Um, but the berries do exist there. And it's just a fun beer, man. Mouthfeel is epic and just good stuff all around. Is this one of the better IPAs I've had? It's like, yes. It's very, very close to the top. It wants to be Mount Rushmore status. I don't know why I don't want to put it there. Let's put it this way. Sub 7% is probably on there. You know, once you get to that 7.5%, there probably are a couple hot butchers that put a little bit before this. But sub 7, it's it's on there. Valued availability, I mean, I'm hoping this is 16 bucks, give or take, and leave you with, if you like what we well, like this beer, if you like New School Hazies, you want something impactful, but at the same time, nothing super sharp. It's really, really well done, Haze. I give you that. Well, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to drink it all, but you go find it. But you know what I'm talking about. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there. If you want to talk about it, Massive Beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massif. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little hot butcher jam right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.